guys, what's up? Welcome to the new video. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting sitting down and doing this video with you. So I think what we're going to be doing today is makeup, but I want to do like a summer glam sort of a look. I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to mention today, but I also want to try to make this video like not too long if we can somehow do that. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys have been doing good. Remember to like the video if you like the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe and comment down below because I want to hear from you. And without further ado, oh, let's get straight into it. <laughs> freshly washed because I think what I'm gonna do is crimp my hair. I'm not a hair crimping master. Why the fuck you lying? But I wanted a hair crimper for so long. I finally got one. It's like way more time consuming than just curling your hair because you have to like crimp, crimp, cream so we're gonna do that for fun there's nothing on my skin right now i'm feeling kind of dry actually so i'm like ready to really get into this makeup but before we even start that i want to actually put on some hair stuff the reason why i want to put this hair stuff on first is so it can sort of like settle into my hair and fully dry while I'm doing my makeup and I'm not just spraying stuff all over my hair and then going right into heat. I've been really not wanting to put any heat on my hair and I think that that's been going really good for me. But every once in a while, it's fun to do your hair. So I'm gonna put a few different things on my hair. The first thing I'm gonna put on my hair is by this brand, Sukin that I really, really like. It's an Australian hair care brand. This is sort of like, um, what do people call those? Like a health food store? This is something you can get at the health food store because it's like an all natural hydrating treatment oil. It's silicone free, which is amazing. I like to put this on my hair like every single day. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. Okay, so after I do that, I'm gonna put in a little bit of this Kerastase Elixir Ultimate. I hope I'm saying that right. I got talked into buying this which it's easy to get talked into buying this. It was sort of expensive. I want to say it was like 40 bucks or something. I really don't know. But if you buy the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum from the grocery store, which I do like to do those kind of things because it's just convenient, it's like $27 at the drugstore. You might even get more with this. Anyway, I wanted to treat myself to that because I haven't bought that in years. And if you know anything about hair care, hair stuff is like delightful. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to clip my hair up a little bit because I want to put in my new heat protector. You guys know I always use the same heat protector. So I wanted to get a different one this time. This is the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. This is really important. I don't want to be hurting my hair. I have long hair. I mean, let's be real, you guys. When you put heat on your hair, it's like kind of hurting yourself. Like it's hurting your hair. <gasps> this liquid glass, it doesn't smell that good. Hmm, that's, that's weird. weird. I've only used this one other time. So I'm still sort of like getting used to this. The carrot sauce definitely smells better than this one. Oh my gosh, I wanted to tell you guys about this brush. Wait, let me get the hair out of it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wanted to tell you about this brush. This brush is amazing. Stop what you're doing and buy the brush. I'm telling you, I'm gonna put links down below for everything. Hopefully I'll be so good at that. I'm gonna at least do this hairbrush, like literally. It's called the Fiora Naturals Hairbrush. You guys, it shapes to your scalp. Like it bends and moves. I'm telling you, the first time I used this, my jaw dropped. Oh my God, this is amazing, amazing. Okay, so I got recently because everyone keeps recommending it, so I really did get it because I have been working on my skin. And ever since I got it, I've been putting this on multiple times a day. It's the Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum by Goodall. I hope you guys can see that. During the day, I just put this on, so fresh skin. But at nighttime, sometimes I alternate between this and some niacinamide. 
but then I'll let it dry and I've been putting on a really high quality olive oil and my skin has been loving it. There's a saying that says, if you think good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like diamonds or something like that. It really is true. So if you wanna be glowing, then you just gotta be in a positive mindset and stay smiling. Next, I'm gonna be putting on some Rapid Lash. So I just put that on and I just don't really think like that much about it, but I just put a whole bunch on. Next, I'm gonna be putting on some sunscreen because this is a summer look and I'm outside really a lot. So I try to put sunscreen on as much as I can. I do like my skin to breathe, but I also want to have sunscreen on, so I do a little bit of both. I've been really researching and getting into sunscreen a lot. So just to say in short, one of the ones I recommend is this Supergoop Mineral Matte Sunscreen. It's not water resistant, so this isn't something you'd wear when you're swimming or anything like that, but it is mineral sunscreen and it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as the active ingredients. It feels so nice. It looks like this. And basically that's just part of me wanting to do more to not only do healthy things for my skin, but also for the environment. And that one's SPF 40, the one I just put on it. Really is so soft, oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's get into the makeup. First thing we need is primer. I'm gonna be using the Sophia and Maybell I Woke Up Like This primer. Okay, next I'm gonna do brows and I've been really loving like loving the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. It has like a nice hard texture. So when I fill in my brows, I basically just sort of like lift them up. And then I do like a little bit of an arch and then I extend this way. And I try when I do this part to not go down, I try to keep it up because we want to stay lifted. See the kind of a difference? Next thing I'm going to do is carve out the underneath of my eyes and also just sort of get a base going for any shadow that we do. So this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a satin finish and this is in Fair Warm. So this is actually really light. I like to use this brush. I like to use this brush because it has a really nice flat shape to it. So when I did this, I had like very hard lines. But I'm just softening this up and I'm bringing it down, but I'm not bringing it like into my lashes and into my eyebrow hairs and stuff. But see how it just created like a really nice brightness above my eyes? Wow, that looks pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to do is foundation. And I just got, because moving forward, I really want to stick to like cruelty free makeup and like mineral makeup and stuff like that. So, I wanted to try a new foundation. So we got the Physician's Formula Natural Defense. So this is what it looks like. And I just got it in the shade medium. Next thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of this concealer and just brighten up right under here, here, a little here. And some right there. Next, I'm going to go in with contour. What we're going for, sort of like when you're painting, you want to start with like a medium tone underneath everything. So that was basically our foundation. And then we're playing with lights and darks to create the shape that we want. And when I do this, I'll put this a lot higher than you think it would go. Oh yeah, and this is the Fenty Beauty match stick for contouring and honestly this is my best one like i'm not even gonna try to get a different one could go like this right here up here too Okay, so at this point, what I want to do is bring some color into my face. And I really like the idea of having your blush a little bit underneath other stuff that you do. Like, you really want to have the color, like, coming out of your complexion. Blush as a topper is cute, but if you really think of it in terms of just, like, who you are as a human, this pink color would be coming from 
you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wouldn't be like on top of you. Anyway, so when I do this, same thing. I want to bring this up. Yeah, like, remember like years ago, we would never put this much blush, blush on our nose, but now we're like about it. Now, what I want to do is actually use some bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And the reason I got this is because it didn't have a ton of sparkle. So cute. So I'm just gonna dip right into this and kind of do the same thing I just did with the blush. For nose contour, I'm gonna use the same Fenty stick, but instead of like actually using it to draw on my face, I'm gonna use this Sephora brush that's actually I think for like the lip gloss, but I've been using it for I've been using it for a nose contour. So I think I used to be like more timid of doing this, but when you, so what you want to do is really do like two lines that are actually like pretty close together in the center and then just like blend out the sides a little like here. That will like give it a lift. And once you have a shape like this, what you'll do is you'll go in with a really bright powder. I'm gonna use this new powder that, that is so good. It's the Huda Beauty. So what you want to do is come in with your brighter powder and make your line in the center and then you, do, you can do reverse contour again like this. And then at this point you kind of just get into like your bake of your whole face. For eyeshadow today I just want to use a Douce eyeshadow palette. I'll probably just be using maybe like these five colors. Okay, so I'm just going to take like a little brush like this. And I always start with a dark color. And I'll just bring this out like a tiny bit. So I'm just bringing it out and up a little. And I think I'll use this tan now. Actually, I think I'm really going to get a lot of that on my brush that like up almost up to my eyebrow but not quite because see how white that is right now yeah I just want to make some golden tan back to that area okay now I'm gonna take a flatter brush that I could do like more pressing with and I'm just gonna do that really like tan color that one here and literally that's it. Did you see that one? Push and a swipe. <laughs> that's it. And now I'm gonna mix this color and this color. And I'm just gonna put this here. Oh, that looks cute. And then I'll just take this white one, not the shimmery, and just bring it down to here to really create that like summer goddessy kind of a look. Let's do some eyeliner. So, I've been using all different eyeliners, yeah. But I wanna try this one, this Il Maquillage Eyeliner. What I'm gonna do is a very light liner that goes from the inside corner, swoop. Also, by the way, fun fact about me, I am a ceramicist and I made this little berry jar. Do you love it? It's a raspberry cup. Sometimes I think about it, I'm like, why didn't you make it a raspberry color? But I did make a whole bunch of different cups. Anyway, these are my berry cups. Isn't this amazing? Also, since I'm done doing all that powder, I'm gonna put on the Benefit Give Me Brow Brow Setter. I don't use this all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some eyelashes. I'm gonna share with you guys a trick. If you ever have lashes that are very big and you just you really want to have lashes you don't want them to go to waste i'm gonna cut the lash like here and then i'm just gonna use this smaller end on the end of my lashes here and then that's a way so just pull the lash right out of your teen and then just go like this Ooh. and then you could save that if you wanted to for a rainy day so then basically I'm left with like this and then I'm just gonna put those on the end of my lashes. Okay, so to put these on, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Academy tweezers. You guys, this is amazing, amazing. If you don't own this, I'm telling you. And then also I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm gonna paint it on the top right here and then I'm gonna put a little glue on the actual eyelash as well. I'm not gonna put them on straight, I'm gonna put them on with a little bit of lift. Also, I'm gonna go up 
a little bit like off of my end of a lash for like even more height. Okay, just gonna use some mascara and I'm gonna use the Jerome Alexander Extended Lash Black Mascara. Next, I'm gonna be putting on a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna do the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish. Oh, wait, 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 stop everything, stop everything, you guys. I wanted to do freckles today. I basically purchased the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I was thinking this would make perfect freckles. So let's see. And this is what it looks like. So this is very similar to Maybe we could even use this, but this is espresso. So this is very similar to my NYX professional makeup. Like honestly, it, it literally looks like they were made in the same factory. Whoa, but it's like obvious that this NYX one is way better. Just the way it like slides and glides. Anyway, I got this more brownie one to do my freckles. I guess I could do a little bit of freckles with the dark one, but let's just see how that goes. NYX LA Shady Slim Brow Pencil, but I didn't love it. Then I used my NYX eyebrow pencil, but this is just a dark shade because it's like actually for my eyebrows. And then I even used some of this, but I think you could even use bronzer if you wanted to. And actually, this is what it came out like. It's like actually pretty cute. Maybe I'll take my favorite makeup brush of all time and just like do this to try to like blend that in. Next, I'm gonna do lips, and I bought a new, I bought a new lip liner to use too, even though you know I just want to use one I got. So I got LA Girl again because LA Girl is cruelty free. This is the Intense Stay Auto Liner Nonstop Nude. This should hopefully bring my whole look together. Oh, it looks cute. Oh, you know what I didn't do is put a little bit of like eyeshadow underneath my eye. I think I might do a little bit of that. So I'll just take this dark one, I guess, again, with the tiniest little brush, just to do like a little something under there. And then I'm just gonna do some Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. Okay, so let me go get this hair comfort and let's do what we do. Okay, so this is it. It's the Bedhead Wave Artist. I low-key wanted this for so long basically has like a crimp for your hair that goes like this and it has a lock on it too it's very interesting usually I do it like three times and i have long hair so if you have short hair this would actually be like so much easier for you and probably go faster so this is my hair i think it's really cute it's very like mermaid like, wow. Okay guys, so this is the look. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. Remember to check out the links down below. If you have a video idea or just anything you want to talk about, contact me. You can always hit me up on my IG. I also have two IGs. I have at Treasure Forever and at Inspiration Serve Daily as well. I just had so much fun sitting down with you guys and I appreciate you so much. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing, sharing. All that stuff means so much to me. I really love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this summer soft man look. And I'll catch you in the next video, okay? Aloha.